I'm meteorologist Anthony Farnell with a look at what to expect across Canada for this upcoming winter season. You've likely heard of terms like La Nina and El Nino. Well, this winter, El Nino will play a significant role in the weather pattern across Canada and really across the northern hemisphere. After three straight years of cooler than normal waters, in the equator region of the Pacific, we've seen a weakening of the trade winds. What does that mean? Well, with weaker trade winds coming off South America, you don't get upwelling. You don't get that cold water. So warmer water temperatures affect the jet stream and across much of Canada, that means a weaker polar jet. So milder air comes in from the Pacific. You get less Arctic outbreaks and generally a warmer weather pattern also means less snowfall. Where are the storms? Well, they are more likely with this subtropical jet, subpolar, and that moves through California into Texas and then off the East Coast with above normal rainfall and cooler temperatures. Although Atlantic Canada will likely see not just cooler air, but also numerous storms this season. Now, not Every El Nino is alike. In fact, they're very different. And this year could be a bit different because of climate change. The Atlantic, above average water temperatures. The Indian Ocean, above seasonal. The Western Pacific as well. And it's not just water temperatures that are warm, but the air is about a degree and a half globally higher than typical over the pre-industrial levels. So all of this impacts our seasonal forecast but we are going to be into a mild start. The month of December forecasted mild just about from coast to coast to coast. January, starting actually around Christmas and the holidays, it turns colder in the Great Lakes through the eastern part of Canada and the Maritimes, while still above seasonal temperatures out west. February also looking warm here while it stays cool and unsettled in Quebec and through Labrador and Newfoundland. So. As a whole, it's mild this winter out west. Now, what does that mean? Well, even a temperature over the entire three-month period of two degrees above seasonal in Winnipeg and Saskatoon, that's still pretty cold. There are going to be bouts of winter for sure, but as a whole, on average, it will be milder out west and likely cooler as we get further away from the El Nino effects. As far as rainfall and snowfall and ice storm potential, that's there. The last major ice storm in 1998, ice storm of the century it was called, well, that was in an El Nino year for southwestern Quebec. So we're gonna keep an eye on that setup. It looks stormy in the Maritimes, below seasonal snowfall out west, and below seasonal around the Great Lakes as well. And that is a look at your winter forecast across Canada.